Press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi guys, this is the Tech Girl 007. I hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to resolve this issue of uh, mouse clicking everywhere on your screen. So as you can see, these white uh, circular things that's going on on the screen, it's not what I'm doing. It just happen it happens on its own. So like, it's sometimes I can't I can't control the mouse even. So it's really annoying. Okay, so uh, this has happened to me since uh, probably more than a month now, and I've been. Uh, on the phone with Microsoft, with Lenovo themselves, they couldn't resolve the issue. Um, I took it to um, to to obviously one of the um, uh, repair shops. Um, they couldn't find out why it was. They they said we have to send it away, which I didn't want it to send away. I didn't want to uh, spend a fortune on it because uh, I only just bought it, and this happened to after the warranty has actually finished. So um, it's um, it was very unfortunate. So basically, what I, um, I did was um, first of all I backed up everything. I backed up everything that um, was on the computer. Obviously, I had to remove the hard drive because it was so hard for me to drag and drop everything. So you can see that um, everything is just opening, uh, which I don't want. So they just keep opening and opening. Um, and then I close them and keep coming on because the mouse is clicking on them and just um, uh, c uh, comes on the screen. <coughs> Okay, so after um, like taking all my data out and uh, transferring it to a um, an external hard drive, uh, which I had to eventually purchase, um, what I did was um, now that I was safe uh, in terms of my uh, data, I went on and did a full factory reset. Um, which uh, took a bit of time so this was the full version that I did the full factory reset where I had to delete all whatever is on the computer obviously I backed it up before I did um, even that didn't fix this issue so I was quite annoyed because I lost all my programs and stuff and had to do it all over again and install everything all over again uh, and eventually what clicked in my mind was um, I thought, wait, with this mouse clicking, what else doesn't work on my computer? So I noticed, uh, uh, well, I knew that before that touch screen doesn't work as well because it came built in on the computer. And then, but somehow it just clicked on my mind. I said, wait, let me do this and see what happens because obviously the touch screen doesn't work as well. Um, so what I did was, um, obviously, as you can see, that it's clicking everywhere. But I want to show you guys how uh, I did it. Um, and how it actually kind of worked for me because uh, I no longer went, I mean I wasn't using it before as well so it's not much of a uh, thing for me to have a touch screen I just had it on the computer um, that came with it bottom left hand side of the screen where the um, windows icon is so I'm trying to right click on there and I want to be going on to device manager so I'm doing it more than a couple of times until I actually get that page so even though it's coming but it's going away so the reason I'm showing you guys this um, while the mouse is clicking just to show you guys how hard it is at the same time how to make it uh, better so basically you wanna still go on there try to click on it I have done this so many times now I kind of got the whole of it on when to actually click but then sometimes uh, it still it doesn't allow me you know so let's go ahead and click again so device manager yes that works so um, in here okay the mouse is still clicking in here you can see human interfaces so you double click on that so that this arrow look other stuff are opening uh, so that this arrow, where is it? This arrow is down, so it's facing down, okay? Either you click on the arrow or you double click on the um, human interface itself. So in here, you should see something like um, HID compliant touch screen. So you want to right click on there and you say disable, and then you want to say yes, okay? So now that has actually removed all those uh, clickings, which is good. There's no more clicks everywhere. 
that's a way you can uh, resolve this issue I mean it works for me and if you if you didn't want touch screen at all then this is what you can try otherwise if you wanted to like obviously want the touch screen then obviously take it to somewhere where they can remove um, I don't know something to do with hardware so I'm sure there must be some kind of a hardware thing installed uh, inside the computer um, in terms of the touch screen um, so they might have to renew it or whatever and that's where it is basically nothing else it's your touch screen that has um, gone wrong okay um, so I want to just let you know how this happened uh, for me it happened after when I updated to the newest version so like you know how um, at some point as uh, the the new updates come up on your computer and then you just update the software so like it just does it automatically sometimes <clears throat> that's what uh, created this issue for me and on the other hand um, I have my little laptop which is like a Samsung laptop so when I updated that one what I noticed was that my keyboard stopped working so that was quite annoying with the keyboard obviously you can't do much about it um, you have to obviously either um, you can't disable it of course because um, you want to use it um, you you I think you might have to just uh, um, renew the whole keyboard thing uh, but because I bought it a few years back and I don't want to be spending a fortune on it I've just left it as it is and I will still try to see if I can come with a solution for it if I did I will uh, post it up if you want me to just comment below if you want me to whenever obviously I find the solution for it I'll just post it up um, and yeah so uh, there's another thing that I want to show you guys while we're on this video so before I went on to disabling my screen um, I went to my previous um, uh, update history so you, how you go about uh, that is you want to go on to where it says settings and then you want to go to update and security you see in here it says check for updates you want to be um, I basically did update today um, at uh, 202 okay 1402 whatever um, you want to go on to update history so basically in here what I had was um, uh, some some of the um, history it it said failed and what was that it was for graphics card if uh, I have the picture I'll just post it on for you like on the next screen you should see the picture of the ones that have failed installing um, and sometimes if it's not for the touch screen you might want to on your history update history check what things have failed you know so you might want to see if you can go onto your uh, device manager and disabling some other things if this touch screen disabling doesn't work for you so you can go onto your um, uh, update history uh, look for the failures and if you see something else that's failed obviously you can um, un uninstall or disable that uh, from the device manager and then see if your computer works okay so that's how it worked for me uh, hopefully uh, it should work for you as well and yeah that um, also means that I'm not going to be using the touch screen because um, it just uh, will create more problems for me so yeah that's it then I hope you like this video don't forget to subscribe share it like it um, yeah, it's just a way of encouraging me of um, doing more videos as such. Okay, thank you. Bye.